There's a brotherhood of men that exist. Men that live by a creed and live up to this scripture. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Let all you do be done in love. Join us now with Trace, Big Guns Chamberlain, and David Fortin on Growls from the Man Cave. Brought to you by Bear Wozniak and BearSchoolOfManliness.com. Welcome to the first edition of Growls from the Man Cave with your host, Trace Chamberlain, and my co-host, Dave Fortin. Hey. How you doing? How you doing, bud? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing today? Good. Are you as excited about this project as I am? Yes, I am. I could not believe that uh, Bear Wozniak asked us to do this project of uh, On the Growls from the Man Cave, where we're going to... Uh, talk with uh, the men of the man cave and uh, you've got a little bit extra stuff that you can tell us about what, what we're going to be doing too there, Dave, go ahead. Well, we're, we're going to be just really exploring and, and uh, getting to know the, the guys that are, that are involved with, with bears man cave. We're going to uh, get to know these men, what makes them tick, what they're in it for and you know, what it is that, that makes them the men that they are. That is that is great because and also uh I believe there we're gonna have uh try to get some guests off of the Bear Wozniak uh long ride home series. Uh That's see what see what the men uh, you know have start doing now, you know, from uh whenever they were in the show to you know where mm -hmm. they're standing at now. And uh mm -hmm. hey, I do have a question for you, Dave, before we get into uh introducing ourselves and kind of our background is uh how did you uh get to know bear wasnick you know it's funny i i host a podcast along the way casual conversations with interesting people and he was i have like 110 episodes now well bear was number five and it was when i interviewed bear that i think that show really found its its present form and i i thank bear every time i i see him for making me a better man every time I, I meet him or, or talk with him. He, he's always, he's, he's always sharing something of value. He's such a great mentor. And uh, I've had the opportunity to interview him a few times. And as I say, I'm always left a better person. And that's what I hope that the show do, uh, delivers uh, a message that makes men better people. I'm, I'm hoping so also, uh, you know, it also reach out to the uh, the younger generation because the younger generation, the, you know, they are going to be the uh, the future of the church and mm -hmm. uh, of the faith. But you know, as for me, you know, I met Bear Wozniak a, a little later, but uh, whenever I started my journey on uh, becoming Catholic, uh, I'd, I'd ended up losing my job. And I was sitting at home one night. I was watching EWTN, uh, getting all getting all faithed up with uh, Mother Angelica, you know. And <laughs> I'm sitting there. <laughs> I'm sitting there, and you know, it's getting late. It's it's rolling into about eleven, twelve o'clock Central Time. So I I say a prayer, and you know, it probably bounced off the ceiling. No, I'm joking. All prayers, God hears all prayers. But uh, anyway, I left the TV on headed out the room and uh right as I got to the the kitchen door there all of a sudden I hear this get your manliness on right thunder with the pack and man I jerked my head around and I'm like okay somebody just turned the channel and it wasn't me I was the only one in there and mm -hmm. I step I stepped back and it was Bear Wozniak's long ride home so I walked back in I sat down and I watched the very first episode of the uh, long ride home series and i tell you what during that series the holy spirit spoke to me and it was like you got to get a hold of this man and before i went to bed that night i tried to search and find emails or whatever and so mm -hmm. i found uh, found his website and sent an email and next thing i know is i'm getting an email back and the the journey goes from there we become you know friends and it's it's been great yeah it's pretty 
Pretty amazing guy. Um, really, man, what was it about that show that that touched your heart? Well, I guess what uh what touched my heart was uh men being men, you know, just being uh well, lack of a better word, just you know, being being gritty, you know, going mm -hmm. out and doing what you're what a man, you know, can do, you know, can do. You just right. uh you know, and and they uh you know professing their faith, you know, not mm -hmm. not not backing off, you know, in public. That's that's what it that's what it takes in today's world is, you know, someone to stand up for your faith, whether it's, you know, in public, uh, you know, whether it's right before the meal saying grace, uh, and not be afraid to, you know. Mm -hmm. Just it, I mean, it, it is great. You know, you had, you know, Father Mark Gorey and you, you got all kinds of guys from all across the spectrum, you yeah. know, which is which is great. You know, I'm not a biker, you know that, you know. But I, I, I just learned so much from watching that, that that whole series. I, I've just uh, binge watched the whole first season again, <laughs> and uh, right, you know, the guy that I really really like was to Tony Orban, who went from Florida all the way over to, to California with Bear. He's the wow. guy that made the whole trip. Everybody else wrote a portion of it, and it really kind of speaks to our lives because you're going to have those friends that you meet along the way, but you know, there's, True. there's guys that are going to ride the whole ride with you. And like I said, um, and, th and that's kind of, kind of brings me to my next point. You and I met along our way. You yes, were a we guest did. on, you were a guest on, on my podcast that, and, and it came at a time when I really, really was down. It was dark period of my life I, I was having a heart attack i had three interviews scheduled that day one was a gentleman from texas the other one was the bishop of Killalo, ireland and another guy was from louisiana named trace big guns chamberlain and i remember just all kinds of uh medical equipment being brought in and i was hooked up to everything and, and i just remember getting text messages from you asking me if i was all right and um saying that you were praying for me and from that point on man it's been fast friends we're every day just about we're talking with each other and sometimes a few more times and just you know once a day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but hey what do you think of this what do you think of that yeah i know that, but I, that's right but i love it i enjoy it i love it and uh yeah I, well. I i thank you for your friendship i thank you for your brotherhood and honestly um, Trace, I've told you this many times before. You are my spiritual bodyguard. Well, I, I hope I can, you know, live up to that. Uh, I try, I try my best. You, you got know, the I'm size. Just, I'm just a, uh, just a man that the the Lord stone a conviction on, and I, I try to listen to him because mm -hmm. they're there for many years, you know, and uh, I didn't listen. Uh, mm -hmm. I, so. I guess, well, I guess lead, leading off into that, we'll just, uh, I'll just kind of start off a little bit of background about myself. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was, uh, I was raised Southern Baptist. Uh, anytime the doors were open, we were there. Mom was, uh, you know, the, in the music, uh, dad was a deacon. Uh, I mowed the grass, cleaned the auditorium, you know, all kinds of, all kinds of things there. But, uh, college came around, high school ended and, uh, man, I was ready to get out. And uh, I didn't, I, I left and really didn't turn back and really didn't pay much attention to the Lord. You know, I never, I never uh, fell all the way away, but I just didn't come and, uh, and visit. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, around uh, 2019, I, uh, my wife now, we went to mass and it was, it was a Latin mass. I've been to masses before, mm -hmm. uh, but this was totally different. And something grabbed a hold of me and said, Trace, this is what you need. Uh, and so my journey started in the Catholic faith. And it, from there on, you know, it it just uh, is growing. Uh, we'll discuss it later on, you know, whenever we're uh, interviewing some men, you know, some things will come up. But sure. uh, my background is uh, I work in oil and gas, uh, been in the oil industry since 1983. Uh, also, I am a uh, 
founder, president, and chaplain of the Oilfield Ironmen Riding Club that I started uh, back in 2010, uh, which uh, also there's a division of uh, the the riding club called uh, uh, Iron Sharpens Iron. Uh, ultimately, that is the uh, ministry side of it mm -hmm. that uh, God had spoke to me uh, somewhere around around uh, in 20. Uh, and uh, I just told him to take the handlebars of my life and I'll hang on for the ride. And Boy, what a ride it's been. <laughs> Amen, brother. But uh, anyway, how about you, Dave? Well, you know what, Trace, it's funny because I was a cradle Catholic. Walked away from my faith when I probably when I graduated. I think it was even before I graduated from, from high school. My mother was uh, somebody who used the Catholic faith as a weapon. So I kind of walked away. Uh, got involved with a Pentecostal church down in your state, down in Louisiana. I know you're not from there originally, but I uh, lived in Alexandria, Louisiana for a while and was involved with the Pentecostal church. Got out of the military, moved back home. And I, I, I just went a lot of years without uh, any kind of faith. Just, you know, my only prayer what uh, was god thank you for this day of life and it wasn't because i was thankful for anything it was just that i, I hadn't gone died and gone to hell that day <laughs> you know that's that's, that's really mm. how 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 it was just i was on autopilot and i thought i was the one that was flying that plane but i right. you know I, I came to find out that i wasn't uh married a beautiful woman named Lori. And she introduced me to the rosary, reintroduced me to the rosary and began to pray the rosary. And then the rosary began to become a part of me. It began, began to come alive. And it's really what grounded me back in, into the faith. And my journey back to the faith is, is truly a uh, to Jesus through Mary. I discovered the Divine Mercy Chaplet through the rosary. That, you know, that could, you know, something to say about the rosary, you know, that's actually uh, kind of what brought me to it also is, yeah. uh, you know, the rosary. And you, you know how I feel about the rosary. You know, I, do. I, I say I say it all the time whenever I end my uh, my other channel of Iron Sharpens Iron. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, uh, my, you know, if you can have a favorite, you know, mysteries of the rosary. Is yeah. a mind's a sorrowful mystery, Dave. It's yeah. just I cannot believe that someone could give their life for me. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. why that that group of mysteries is so important to people, is because it it does. It shows the the, the lengths that Jesus Christ went for us. Oh yeah. And and whenever you sit there and you just kind of meditate on them, you know, you don't you don't rush through it and you you think about that mystery, you know, about whenever he's in the garden and he's he's praying, he's praying so hard, he's sweating blood. Yeah. And then and then, you know, he he sits there and he's uh he's beat, you know, by Pilate and mm -hmm. just just scourged, skin, you know. You you see depictions, but you know. The scourgings and stuff. If you study about those, it's. I mean, there's there's bones. There's it's down to bone. You know, yeah. chunks of flesh are gone. And then it just, you know, it just goes on from there. It just, you just can't believe it. Just. But anyway, I'll. Do you I'll do you ever about. put yourself in those mysteries? Yes, as, I do. As, yeah, that's that's key. I think that's yeah. key. Is that you really got to. Put yourself in those mysteries so that you can really experience them. Well, I I I got to where you know I would I was saying the rosary and it it seemed like it was just getting repetitive, and yep. so I I prayed and I just uh, took a step back and slowed down, and if you slow down and think about it, you know it it puts you in the right mindset. You know, Absolutely. where it's not just a habit. You know, a lot of people, uh, they're in just a, just a habit of, you know, saying some quick prayers and, and going. 
But, you know, like, uh, you know, I get up and, you know, I say, our father, you know, and and followed by some other prayers. And Mm -hmm. uh, I've learned to slow down and take my time with it and understand, you know, that that's the prayer that, you know, that's the prayer that Christ gave us. You know, it was our father prayer. It's just, it's just, mm-hmm. you know, I, I believe that's the strongest prayer that you could pray because, you know, Jesus gave us that one. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Hail Mary's got some power to it, too, though. Well, I tell you what, I I, I say plenty of those. That's that's right. Every Mama time. Mary, she's got some she's got yeah. some uh, she's got some pull in heaven. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uh, anyway, let's. uh. Let's talk about the show a little bit there, Dave, what we want it to be. Actually, my friend, we got to take a short break. Now you can journey with other men on the adventure of a lifetime, growing in manly virtue through Bears Man Cave Community in our three-year school of manliness. Join at deepadventure.com. Better yet, You can lead your own sons through the same compelling video, audio, and written content. Can you imagine how much deeper your relationship with your dad could have been and how much more you could have learned and pitfalls you might have avoided if your dad had a tool like this to help to draw you both into a deeper, life-changing discussion? Now you have a trigger that you can pull that will take you into gritty discussions with other men and with your sons at deepadventure.com. We invite our mama bears to join with us at deepadventure.com. You'll have access to all of the Long Ride Home TV shows even before they air on EWTN. Plus, three years of the shareable Ocean Sunrise daily catechism videos. Plus, at deepadventure.com, a 20% discount at our online store with all of our great t-shirts and clothes and books and rosaries and medals and all kinds of accessories. You'll also get an autographed copy of Bear's latest book, and for a limited time, a Catholic biker stuffed teddy bear. All at deepadventure.com. Come on, Mama Bears, let's hear you roar. Find out more about the cave and Bear Wozniak's book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? at bearschoolofmanliness.com. Now back to Growls from the Man Cave. Hey Trace, we're back. Hey Dave, thank you. I uh, I wasn't watching the timer. I just keep talking. You know that. <laughs> hey, that's what too, that's what you know. What I I fear that that's what a lot of these shows are going to be like because we're going to be talking with some great guys. Come on. We're going to have Bear on pretty soon. I mean, you got to start a show that he endorses with Bear. That's true. Then, that's true. And then we're going to have Pat Gervais who is the big voice. Like He's that guy that, that you, you know, you answered the call to uh, roll thunder with the pack. That's right. That was, that was his voice. He is the voice. And he's so, a great guy too. And I, and I'm afraid that, you know, this little 30 minute segments, there's going to mm-hmm. be a lot of, a lot of part twos. It's Cause these guys, be. these guys are, you know, either there's some great guys. I've already been to uh, a couple of uh, meetups down in Florida uh, we have a uh, a get together, an annual get together, and yeah. it's you know might be ten, might be twelve guys, but it's it's a group that's tight. You can talk, you can open up, and mm-hmm. you know what stays in the group stays in the group. So you yeah. can open you can open up to the men and and just let them know what's ha- what's going on. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm involved with a. I'm involved with a group here in Connecticut called Acts, and they have a mm-hmm. thing called the River Rule. And like you say, what's what happens there stays there. What you say there stays there because that's really what men need is 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 a place to just open up, pour out their hearts, and and feel safe that they're not going to be judged, that they're not going to be, um, you know, ostracized. And that's what we hope. To a point, I mean, we're not going to be sharing confessional secrets here but you know we want to help guys to grow and i think vulnerability and personal testimonies are a great way to help guys grow yes it is and you know ultimately you know like like the other little show that i shoot little videos quickies you know it's a 
you know, you got a band of brothers that you can, that you can go to, you know, and you're basically iron sharpens iron, you know, you're there as a man to help sharpen a constitution of another man and to, to, to get him to where he wants to help others. And, you know, us as men all draw closer to the Lord. So. I love that that constitution sharpening another man's constitution. I love that mission statement. Where did you come up with that? I looked at it just whenever, whenever I read that part and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with what God is kind of, you know, leading the, uh, the ministry section of the, uh, motorcycle riding club. It's, uh, basically you're there, you're, you're there to, to help others, you know, to sharpen the constitution. I know I say of other men, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, of other people, you know? Right. So. No, I like that because bear always talks about, especially in his book, having that creed that you live by the creed and the code. And then yep. I, I can't wait to get him on here so he can talk about the, uh, uh, 12 rules of manliness. Where have all the Cowboys gone? Cause mm -hmm. uh, that'll probably be a part one, two, three, and probably a four. So <laughs> <laughs> aren't there 12 rules? <laughs> Yeah, there's 12 rules. We're going to have to have 12 of them because, you know, you can, you can really go into those rules, but they are and anyway, yeah, just, uh, you know, I'm hoping that, like I said, this, this, uh, little segment that we're doing, I hope it, uh, you know, brings in the younger men and, mm -hmm. uh, that way and, you know, just help build relationships from, you know, father and son. You know, possibly mm -hmm. uh, discussing, uh, you know, what the role of a of a father should be. I've missed, you know, I have five children and uh, helped raise, you know, six others, but uh, I missed I missed all of their you all of their years of growing up because I thought I had to chase the almighty dollar, and uh, whenever it's gone, you don't get it back. All you can do is move on and and try to, you know not really make amends, but you, uh, make up for loss, you know, try to make up for lost time. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's just something that, you know, every man should do always take time for your family. You know, I look at it now as, you know, God, my first God is first, my first, my real vocation is, uh, my family and then, then my job. So, and I try to keep them in that order. Trace, how do you think um, your motorcycle ministry reaches younger people? Well, right now, Dave, you know that's something that we're uh, that we're trying to grow. Uh, it's it's still on. I guess you would, I would guess you would call it. You know, we're we're just now planting the seed, and yeah. uh, and we're trying to to be good gardeners, which, you know, happen to be bikers <laughs> and try, trying to, trying to water that seed a little bit. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's, there's a few, few guys that are in different chapters throughout the United States that, uh, you know, are, are really interested in picking up the role as being the, uh, the go-to person in the chapter to, well, uh, you know, you just don't pray for people. You actually, uh, you know, pray with them. And yeah, that's what, absolutely. that's what, that's what, that's what we try to do because, you know, the places that we go, the people we see, you know, I can't remember who said it one foot in the church, one foot in the mud, you know, I, I, I got, you know, sometimes I have to meet them where they're at, just like Jesus did. You mm -hmm. know, if they're, if they're on the street, they're going, they're going to meet us. I and, think you're talking well, when you said that, I think when you said that you're talking about my good friend, Deacon Don Prendergast, who was a, who was a member of the uh, Connecticut, uh, not the Connecticut, the uh, Catholic Cross Bears motorcycle ministry, but is now okay. he's he's now a um, chaplain in the Punishers. Okay. So he is a deacon in Florida, and shout out to him. That's good because mm -hmm. uh, you know that's that's what it, that's what it takes. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, just. I can't remember. I think I saw a little short video. Uh, a preacher was up and he was like sitting there and he was talking. He goes, eh, you know, we're not just a church to come together and sit in these pews. He said, why don't y'all stand up for a minute? He said, feel where you were sitting. 
it's warm, isn't it? They go, yeah. He goes, and if you sit there too long, that's how the pew got its name. It's pew. He said, we are meant <laughs> to go out into the world and save souls. Not, yeah, absolutely, just, brother. not just sit in the pew and warm a bench. So <laughs> Absolutely. That's why I love, you know, one of my, my favorite things about the mass is when our deacon says, now go out and uh, spread the yeah, gospel. Go, spread the gospel and to glorify God with your lives. That, that to me is just such a call to action. Yes, it is. And, and that's what we should do. That's what really mm -hmm. what we should do. So anyway, I don't know where we're at, Dave. Is it about time to do Trace, the, the we, wrap up? We, we, we got about a minute and a half, two minutes left. So with that said, everyone come back and watch the next episode of growls from the man cave, where it will give you the grit and the grace to follow God. Trace, close it out the way you always do. Like I say on another show, the rosary is a mighty warrior's weapon that will defeat Satan and all the evil spirit that prowl about the world seeking to ruin his souls. Each time you push or pull one of these beads, it's like taking your finger and just poking Satan in the chest. So continue to help me and Dave with these rosaries, poke Satan in the chest. Have a blessed day. And Big Guns and I will be praying that your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. We will see you next time. Growls from the Man Cave is brought to you by Bear Wozniak and BearSchoolOfManliness.com in conjunction with Spirit of Truth Radio Arts. Join the Man Cave now at BearSchoolOfManliness.com. <laughs>